If there hadn't been a Camp Kadzu, um, there are children who are now young adults who would have complications, who would not have a sense of belonging, would not have people to turn to when they're having, excuse my language, a diabetes sucks week. It's that important. So we started our own foundation, 10 of us, and decided to fund it. We ran everything out of our own houses for the first five or six years. And what I value so much about Alex is the fact that when some of us kind of maybe lost steam a little bit along the way, she never did. She just, she kept it going. It was her baby. So we convinced her that she should go from volunteer to executive director, and she did that. She is now 18 years later put together a summer where we've served four different weeks of campers living with type one. <laughs> She's given so much to these children. She's helped them learn. She's grown a tremendous following and a dedicated group of volunteers and supporters. I think one of the greatest things about Alex is her, her vision for camp and her passion for camp, and that's evident every time I see her and talk to her that she loves this place and loves the impact that it has on kids' lives. The network that she has enabled to form, I mean, there's nothing like it. I'm able to pick up my phone and reach out to a dozen or so other people who I've known for, you know, 10 plus years who are living with the same thing, and if it weren't for Alex, that just wouldn't be the case. I see how hard she works behind the scenes at camp in addition to being in the dining hall and cheering people through the Golden Kudzu Awards and engaging with the campers. So the volunteers have a great experience. The campers feel very special because Miss Alex came over to engage with them. You'll see her dancing around in the dining hall. Someone sent me a video last night of her going down the water slide in her clothes. So she's always there to have a great time. I've never seen anyone upset around Alex ever. And it's, I don't know, it's like magic that she has. You won't see her without a smile. She's just always in a good mood. She's one of the nicest people you'll ever meet. We could go on and on about Alex Allen. She is a supporter. She's an encourager. She lifts you up no matter what role you're in at camp. As a nine-year-old, I have a vivid memory of being on the front porch of my cabin and holding onto my dad's leg and being like, don't leave me. And Alex took my hand and sat there with me and stayed with me for hours after my parents left to make sure that I was comfortable. We met Alex when we went to the first family camp and she made us feel very confident about the care our child was receiving at camp, knowing that Alex has two children with diabetes and that she would never put our children at risk and their care and safety was the highest priority. Camp has been such an incredibly positive experience and I just feel like it's because of her. She's just been a blessing. Alex Allen is a consummate professional and I have learned so much from her in terms of the particulars of how to run an organization, but also how to be present to each individual and each family member that you meet. Alex and Cammie, her daughter, were the first people over to the house when my daughter was diagnosed. And they came over with care packages and instructions and everything you need for you know a young child with diabetes. Through each milestone in my life she's been one of the biggest supporters even when I decided to go to nursing school or when I graduated from nursing school when I got my job in the pediatric ICU. Alex Allen has always been someone there to congratulate me or support me through the good times and the bad. We couldn't have asked for a better 18 years of camp and because of her We've all made this family and this connection and this environment for one another. She's never lost her energy, her enthusiasm, and I think she should be very proud that her baby is a self-sustaining organization now. She just has a heart and a love for children that she would do anything for them. And that's, when I think of Camp Kudzu, I think of Alex.